Want to hear a sobering statistic? Every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. suffers a stroke. Welcome back, Jennifer here. Today, we are cracking the code for strokes. Now, I know there are a lot of YouTube videos out there about strokes, and most of them go into a lot more detail. So if you want more information, go and check them out. But for you caregivers, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the different types of strokes and what to look for so you can provide the best care for your loved one at home. A stroke is a sudden interruption in the blood supply of the brain and can also be referred to as a brain attack since it occurs so rapidly and requires immediate treatment, just like a heart attack would. Over 80% of strokes are caused by an abrupt blockage of arteries leading to the brain. This is known as an ischemic stroke. Other strokes are caused by bleeding into the brain tissue when a blood vessel burst. This type of stroke is known as a hemorrhagic stroke. The most common cause of this type of stroke is uncontrolled high blood pressure. When the symptoms of a stroke last only a short time, say less than an hour or so, this is called a transient ischemic attack, or TIA for short. We also refer to these type of strokes as mini strokes. A few other but less common types of strokes are called cryptogenic stroke and brainstem stroke. Cryptogenic strokes are strokes that, despite all the testing, they have an unknown cause. And brainstem strokes leave someone in a locked in state. Uh, where the person becomes almost immobilized. The effects of a stroke depend on which part of the brain is injured and how severely it is injured. That's why some people bounce back with little to no lasting impacts or deficits, while others may experience effects that are more long lasting and permanent. Strokes may cause sudden weakness, loss of sensation, or difficulty with speaking, seeing, or walking. Since different parts of the brain control different areas and functions, it is usually the area immediately surrounding the stroke that is affected. Another important thing to know is that movement for one side of the body is controlled by the opposite side of the brain. This means that if the stroke occurred on the left side of their brain, then it's going to be, uh, they will then have problems on the right side of their body. Okay, so since we know that strokes occur suddenly and immediate treatment results in better outcomes, then it's important to know the signs that someone is having a stroke. I will attach a PDF of this in the description section below so that you can display it on your refrigerator or another commonly looked place in your home as a reference. The warning signs of a stroke can be easily remembered using the word fast. The F stands for facial drooping. A is for arm weakness, S is for slurred speech or speech difficulty, and T means it's time to call 911. Our job as speech therapists in helping people recover from strokes primarily focuses on helping them regain their communication skills. This might include speech and comprehension, reading and writing skills. We also play a large role in helping them regain any lost function and their ability to swallow. In upcoming videos, I will delve further into our role as SLPs and provide more specific information related to the areas of the brain that affect speech and language skills and how you can help. Also, tune into any of my videos related to swallowing to find out more about that if your loved one's swallowing function is also impacted. Remember to subscribe below and click the bell for notifications. And don't forget to try out the new cryptogram puzzle. Until next time, good luck cracking the code.